Some people from the balcony just flashed three fingers at me. That's the Hunger Games salute, which has become emblematic of this uprising. I'm speaking very quietly because I don't want our minders to know what they just did, because honestly, it could be a very dangerous situation for them. We pass a small protest, rejecting Myanmar's return to more than half a century of repressive military rule. Their banner calls for a spring revolution. Our minders won't let us stop. Finally, after days of pushing, we are allowed to visit a public space, an open market. We avoid approaching anyone, mindful of the fact that we are surrounded by security forces. But within minutes, one brave man flashes the three-finger salute. I saw that you made a sign. Yes. Tell me what you mean by making that sign. No, we don't. We, you just stand back. Okay? That is justice. Justice. We want to justice. You want justice. justice yes. Moments later, another man approaches. Not scared. Not scared. Not weapon. We don't have a not weapon. Not scared. But every day, by day, every day, just like that. As word of our presence spreads, we hear an unmistakable sound. Banging pots and pans is a tradition to get rid of evil spirits. But it has become the signature sound of resistance. This young teacher says she ran to talk to us when she heard the noise. You want democracy? We want democracy. We don't want military coups. You know we're surrounded by military. Like this guy. I don't, uh, I'm not afraid to, at all. If we are afraid, to, we people around here will not hit the bend and the pen. Like many young people, she sees her future being ripped away. We don't want to go back to the dark age. We lost our voice and we had, we had democracy only for 10 years. Because we don't have weapons, we don't have guns, just only we have voice. We want but even words can be punished here. Democracy. Not wanting the situation to escalate, we decide to leave the market as people honk their horns in support of the protest movement. The junta has grossly underestimated the determination of its people and the growing hatred for the military. Back in Yangon, our miners take us to another market in a military area keen to show they have popular support. But the ploy backfires. I understand. The man just told me we want democracy as he walked past, but he was too scared to stop and talk. Others are more bold. Please save our country. Save your country. These people are not activists. They are ordinary citizens and they live in fear of the military. You have goosebumps. You would like shivering. Not, they are not human. Yeah. yeah. They're not human. Yeah. They are desperate for the outside world to know their pain. One girl approaches us shaking. I feel like you're very nervous. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. We are not sick anymore. And even in the night, uh, they are shouted and she shouted and shook the children. Uh, I don't want you to get in trouble. I don't want you to get arrested, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Hello. All right. She knows her bravery will certainly be punished. But this is a resistance movement built on small acts of great courage.